are some people, very few probably, whose lives from start to finish read like a movie scenario. Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias was one such person. This is a true story. It begins in Beaumont, Texas in 1953. Babe Dickerson Zaharia is the greatest woman athlete in the world, and she looked just like a regular woman. <laughs> Romance? What am I going to do with you? Oh, you got me living high off the hog. Looks like a garden in here. Even has a view. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to step outside for a few minutes. Okay, honey. I'll be right outside, huh? George? Yeah. I want you to go back to the hotel and pick up my golf clubs. Babe, you're impossible, you know that? I mean, you think the room's big enough to get a good round of golf in? Why don't you take over one of these uh, operating rooms and make a putting green out of it? That's a good idea. Now, why don't you see the man in charge about it? Oh, yeah, I'll speak to the man in charge. That's terrific, babe. It really is terrific. Cancer fund. I must have done a hundred benefits for them. This is really pretty. Oh, you like that? I made that myself. You're kidding. No, I, I love to sew. I do it all the time. Just like a regular woman. You, you didn't. I... Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honey, that's okay. It happens all the time, but I don't mind anymore. Oh, boy. Looked like a storm hit me. I better get this old wreck together, because George likes to see me all fixed up and pretty. 
I know you'll find this hard to believe, but I wasn't always as beautiful as I am now. Mama, my funny looking. Oh, babe, why you ask such a question? Kid at school said I had a face like a can of worms. Mama's little Ven, you, you are beautiful, beautiful. Don't overdo it, Mama. Ah, oh, yeah, you too. I'm sorry I made fun of you yesterday. I was only kidding. Don't bother me, none. Hey, you want to go to the movies? No, thanks. Oh, they're playing our dancing daughters. It's 100% uh, all talking. No, I'd rather stay here. I bet you we got the best backyard gym in East Texas. My daddy made the whole thing. Girls don't do that. Who says? My sisters and me do it all the time. I don't understand you, Mildred Ella. Just seems like you go out of your way to be different than other girls. No, I don't. Well, all the boys are laughing at you. They're calling you Babe Ruth Dietrichson. I don't care what they say, because I'm going to be a great athlete. I'm going to be the greatest athlete in the world. It slows you down every time. Yeah, it's getting the timing off, too. Afternoon, babe. Lily. Mr. Johnson, I hate to put you to this trouble, but you think you could cut your hedge two inches? Well, yes, I guess I could, babe, but uh, would you mind telling me why? Uh-huh. I'm practicing for the Olympics, and your hedge is breaking my stride. The Olympics? Well, I know it's a long way off, see, but I want to be ready. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us, child. You don't just decide that you're going to the Olympics and that's that. You have to be discovered. Well, you need a sponsor. It takes money. Tell you what, Mr. Johnson. You cut your hedge two inches and I'll take care of the rest. Hey, babe. Catch. Come on, babe. Shoot! 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 <laughs> Employers casualty out of Dallas. Well, thank you very much. We don't need insurance. <laughs> well, I'm not selling today, sir. I'm a buyer. Yeah. You know, that daughter of yours is the most talented young basketball player that I've seen in many a year. <laughs> now, I happen to uh, be the director of our company's women's athletic program. Now, last year, our team finished second in the National AU Championship. But I ain't no man to settle for no sir. Sorry, baby girl. I'm Colonel McCoos from Employees Casualty Company. I want you to go to work for us because I want my company to have a championship basketball team. Yes, sir. Oh, babe, all the way to Dallas. Why not, Mama? Chess play on a team like Employer's Casualty? You know, it just so happens I can type 85 words a minute. Well, how's that a fact? Yes, sir. 
and I'm, uh, I'm all city high diving champion, but the thing I do best is track and field. Well, I'll tell you what, Miss Diedrichson, if you'll come play basketball for us, I'll guarantee you that we'll have a track team going by summer. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great to me. When do we leave? How's our track team coming? Soon, gal, soon. Let's try and win this doggone basketball tournament first, huh? Okay. <laughs> I never heard no mention of employers casually. No, sir, I'm sorry about that, but... Never see, mind. You... Never mind, young lady. I think maybe you just better pack your bag. We're heading for Evanston, Illinois. Evanston? The Olympic qualifying meet? Yes, ma'am. Well, you got a team together? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Evanston, Illinois, 1932 Olympic qualifying meet. The Illinois Women's Athletic Club. The New York Women's Athletic Club. Employers Casualty of Dallas. <laughs> of the team. You're looking at it, man. <laughs> yes, folks, employer's casualty is represented by just one young woman, Mildred Ella Babe Dittrickson. <laughs> 139 feet, 3 inches. She has broken the world's record. <laughs> She has broken a second world's record. She did it! All on all by herself! That girl just went to track me for a boy's castle! <laughs> <laughs> You're going to the Olympics after all, babe. I told you, if you cut down your hedge, I'd take care of the rest. Uh -huh. <laughs> blood out of me. I'm going to look like one of those characters in a horror movie. Well, 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 good afternoon, little girl. I was on the way to the golf course. I thought I'd check your temperature. <laughs> Where did you sure. get that out? Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh? <laughs> you come to check me, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I am? I think I do, yeah. My ears give me away. Oh, George. Oh, yeah. Give me the robe. Oh, yeah. Get the robe on, man. Come See, in. It's pretty late. Isn't it? Oh, George, aren't they lovely? Yeah, better not be from a boy, I tell you. Thank you very much, young lady. Well? It's from the Olympic Committee. They remembered.
four inches. Babe Peterson, USA, has just set a new world record. Maybe ever will produce. Thank you. You ever tried golf? Golf? <laughs> That's just for rich people, isn't it? Uh, well, up to now it has been. Some friends of mine and I are playing. Why don't you join us? Gee, Mr. Ross, I don't know. I've I never been inside a country club before. Dear Miss Didrikson, you have just won two Olympic gold medals. You can go anywhere in the world now. Yeah. <laughs> body I ever saw. <laughs> Babe? George? This is Dr. Moore. He'll be doing the surgery on Thursday. Doctor, I hope you're a fine stitcher. I don't want any scars to show. This man here is convinced I'm a vision of beauty. <laughs> now, Mrs. Zaharias, I want to explain this as fully as I can. If you have any questions, just feel free to interrupt. OK, Doc, shoot. A surgical procedure is called a colostomy. A colostomy? Well, I, I heard of that, but I... Just exactly where is my cancer, doctor? 
in plain English? In the rectum. Now, what we do is remove the malignant section of the colon, rerouting the intestine this way. A small opening called a stoma will be made here on the abdomen, and body waste material is then drained into a small flat bag taped to the skin. No. Babe. Now, listen to me. There'll be absolutely no change in your outward appearance. You'll be able to do almost everything you do now. No! You cannot do that to me. Babe. I, I will not let you do that to my body. George, tell him to go away, please. No. Okay. This thing, this thing is okay, obscene. Okay. No, okay, please. Okay. I want to go home, George. Please, please, oh, please. Honey. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to let them do anything you don't want them to do. No. I'll take care of the doctors for me. Come on. Come on. Just rest. I'd rather die. The thing is not to push her, Doc. It's a shock, George. But she'll get over it. She's a woman that, that has to make up her own mind about things. How about you? Can you handle it? I plan on growing old with that woman in there. The thing is to convince her. If she didn't have the operation, how long would she have? A year, maybe. I have one in here who's lasted almost that long. A nun. Stubborn like babe. She's been in bed the whole time. Can't weigh more than 90 pounds now. Is that a fact? I know I can't just wish cancer away. There have been cases of spontaneous remission, that's what they call it. I've mm. been reading about it. Mm -hmm. It's a gamble. It's a life. Hmm? Yeah. As long as I've got George, I want to live it like me. Okay. How come you're not arguing with me? Because you're the boss. Hey, there's a nun in that room, that Boata. She's really a sports fan. I bet she'd like to see you. Give her an autograph or something, make her happy, you know? Oh, Mrs. Saharius. Mother. If you only knew what a fine example you set for the young women of this country. I used to lecture on your achievements to my girls at St. Augustine's. Thank you. I have cancer. I understand you have it too. That's right. God's will be done. They wanted to operate, but I would not approve. If uh, they did the operation? No. It would be a mutilating procedure. I'd rather accept my fate as it is. I'm sorry, sister, but I don't believe that. See, how do you know it's your fate? Huh? 
Maybe it's your fate to have the, the mutilating procedures, you call it, and just go on living. Because, see, I, I don't think there's anything more important or, or sacred than the gift of life. And... Leo DeRocher. Jean Sarazen. You knew, didn't you? How about this one? Well, how... She has the same kind of cancer I do, and you knew it. Mm hmm You just never stop promoting, do you, Zaharius? I love you, babe. I'll tell Doc Tatum Thursday's okay. So all weather lady starts laying down all these bets, you see. While I get up there, I uh, have this long tee shot. Pardon He's me. watching the ball. It's going forever, right? Well, now it's his turn. When he gets up there, this guy, he can't even hit a ball. Uh, excuse me. They told me you're the pro here. Can I ask you something, please? Uh, yeah, later, kid, OK? Listen, I only have so 10 I minutes to learn how to play this game. Couldn't you help me uh, now? Uh, I said later, kid. I'm having lunch with Mr. Grant and Rice, Mr. Paul Gallico, Mr. Brave and Dyer, and we're going out to play right away. And I told them that I had to go to the ladies' room to powder my nose, and then I beat it right down here, because I don't know much about this game, and I hate to go out there and look like a fool. Oh, you're here with Grant and Rice. Yes, sir. What's your name? Babe Dietrichson. Babe Dietrichson? The Olympic gold medal Babe Dietrichson? Yes, sir. I heard about her. <laughs> they tried to disqualify her for entering as a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, I can't teach you how to play the game in 10 minutes, but I can show you how to hold the club. I sure would be grateful. I wonder which locker room they'll show her to, the women's or the men's. OK, now look, you grip it with these three fingers of your left hand, right? Three? Yeah, look, those two girls don't have a brain between them. I really admire you, Miss Dietrichson. You're a hell of an athlete. OK, now look, now you bring your right hand in. Now, here, overlap your little finger. Got to be over 240 yards. Are you sure you never played this game before? Yes, sir. <laughs> right now, I'm wondering why. Guess it's time to learn how. Morning, Joe. Hey, our date was for 8 o'clock. How long you been here? Mm. Since sun up. Well, let me see your hands. You're bleeding again. I know. Still got the blisters, but I guess everybody does it first. Ready for my lesson? Look, this is supposed to be a game. I mean, I've never seen anybody work themselves so hard in my life. Well, just something in my nature. When I play, I play to win. Take the uh, Women's Amateur Golf Championship. Yeah, what about it? Well, to win it, I figure it'd take me about three years of steady lessons and practice. Well, you plan to be the top woman golfer in the country in three years, right? No, two. That's all my bankroll will cover. I couldn't wait to tell you, Mama. I won my first tournament at the club where I practice, and uh, I have a part-time job typing that pays the rent, and Joe has given me my lessons for free now. That's fine, babe. Uh, Mama, where's Dora and Louie? Is Lily there? Uh, they're fine, babe. And Papa, will you but, take hey, Papa on, will you? Uh, Papa, Papa is sick, babe. Doctor says he has to have an operation. Now! 
Babe, he's in the hospital. Uh, babe, we haven't got enough money. Uh, yeah, we do, Lily. I've been turning down in offers to make lots of money. Uh, you tell Mama not to worry. I'll take care of it, you hear? And, uh, give Papa my love. <laughs> Palace is proud to present the one and only, the amazing Babe Diedrichson. <laughs> that you don't like men? Gee, honey, I don't know. It's just been such a long time since I met any. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, the world-famous Button Sisters. <laughs> Up the offer to 2500 and they're crazy about you. Turn the offer down, Sam. Huh? What? Oh, babe, come I'm, on. I'm sorry, but I just I just realized the oh, feeling's not babe, mutual. $2,500? You I might... need to get out in the fresh air again. But, babe, you said, uh, wait a minute, listen to me, will you please? Never gonna 
be the same after tomorrow. Oh, babe. You're gonna get well, and that's the only thing that counts. Oh, that's easy for you to say. It isn't happening to you. Well, it's not. different our lives would have been if you hadn't gone to the L.A. Open? Yep. <laughs> the only reason you won is because you wanted to compete against men. You betcha. Why is that? Uh, we never get a chance to compete against the men. Sharpen us up a whole lot if we had tougher competition. Well, you got it today, Miss Diedrichson. How do you think you're going to stack up? I'm going to whoop the pants off him. <laughs> right here, babe, please. You know who your partner's going to be? Yeah, some wrestler. George something or other. Well, what's he doing in a golf match? Getting publicity, I guess. Hey, come on, George. Let's get a picture of the two of you, huh? No way. No publicity-seeking female freak is gonna use me to get copy in the papers. Well, she didn't ask to be put with you, Zaharias. Tournament officials did that. Yeah, well, no one asked me. I'm a professional athlete. I don't play with girls. Oh, what's the matter, George? You afraid she'll beat you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Here comes your partner. It's George Zaharius, the crying Greek from Cripple Creek. The what from where? George, come here. Take a picture with Babe. Sure. <laughs> ah! Hey, George, hold That's it. That's good. Hey! Beautiful. Hey. Go, me, big gorilla, or I'll break your arm. That's right, oh. tough girl. Can't you take it? You're hurting me. Oh, I'm sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Hey, you're just a little thing, huh? I'm not as big as you are. George Saharius. Babe Dietrichson. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How you doing, honey? Head as a fiddle and ready to love. That's my girl. You just relax, OK? Just relax. The secret to this game is relaxation. Uh, Mr. Zaharius, are you actually going to stand there and tell me how to play golf? Yeah, why not? Because I've competed longer, I can drive farther, and I can hit better than you. That's why not. Oh, yeah? Well, prove it. Babe, Dickerson, you're the most competing woman I've ever seen. You compete? Why shouldn't I? Because I'm a man, that's why. Oh, well, sure couldn't tell which is which from looking at these golf balls. You know, you're not a raving beauty, but I mean, you do have kind of a trim figure and pretty eyes. You know, I bet you wouldn't look too bad if you wore a little lipstick. <laughs> Went a little bit to the right, didn't it? You use too much gunk on your hair and you're 10 pounds overweight. And who asked 
trust your opinion anyway. Oh, that was terrible. You know, you got my head all turned around here. I don't even know what I'm doing. Want to have dinner with me? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's get going. Lily? Uh, don't put up a place for me, Lily. I won't be eating home tonight. Mama, I met a man today. Yeah? yeah. Really? His name is George Zaharius. The wrestler? Mm-hmm. I'm having dinner with him in his apartment. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is not right. You are a nice girl. That's the whole point, Mama. I've been a nice girl for 24 years. Whatever happens now is about time. Mm. No. Lily, do you have any lipstick? Lipstick? Uh-huh. Well, sure. No, never mind. You just have to take me like I am. Well, what are you going to do if he gets fresh? Outrun him. <laughs> when you get into that apartment, if he has even one light off, you walk straight out the door. <laughs> yes, Mama, good night. <laughs> now you listen to Mama. Mama, I always listen to you. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> um, Mr. Zaharius? Mr. Zaharius, you're a very nice man. You see, but the truth is that I'm, uh, I'm inexperienced in these matters, and, uh, Now, listen here, you big palooka. Your footwork's too fast and too fancy. Help. OK, Buster, first thing we do is turn on every one of those lights. Sweetheart, I got some great lamb and pilaf. You know it was a good trick, did Why don't you guys cut it down? Hey, hey, cut up the horseman manners. Come on. Uh, babe, uh, these are my brothers. Uh, this is uh, Chris and Tom. Hi, this is the how are you? Is she terrific? Did nice I tell you she was you. terrific? Uh, okay, you guys uh, get to know each other, and uh, I'll finish dinner. Uh, sit. Have, have a seat. Thank you. Nice place. Uh, come on up. I'll take you two falls out of three. All right, you're on. Hey, Abby, you like the dinner? Yeah. 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 Terrific. OK, you guys, the dinner's almost ready. Hi. Come on, let's see. I can't talk now. I've got to get dressed. George is coming back tonight. Where's Mama? Shop. Uh, you want me to take her to a movie tonight? Thanks, Lily. <laughs> You. I read about you in the papers. Mm -hmm. well, thank you for the yellow roses in the card. My romance. Mm -hmm. I am, honey. You betcha. Okay, so what are we gonna do about it? Do about it? Yeah, do about it. Nothing. Not right now. Why not? Uh, my golf. No, I'm I'm just building a career. And and you're wrestling? I mean, we're just always in different places of the country at different times. Oh, honey. In the past two months we've learned more about each other than most people do in a lifetime. I mean, we've made the telephone companies rich. We've boosted the stock of the airlines, not to mention Western Union. Managed to meet each other somewhere around this country enough for people to start gossiping. 
We should get married. Why? Because people are gossiping? No. Because we love each other. And it's time. And it's time because people are gossiping. Oh, boy, I can't win. You know, when I didn't have a feller, they said that I... that I didn't like men, and now that I got one... What are they saying, that I'm immoral? Hmm? Well, I didn't care what they say, because I got no one to answer to but me. That's why I'm a golfer. I set my own goals and meet my own challenges on my time schedule. Well, that's terrific. I'm talking to you about marriage, and you're telling me about why you're a golfer. Hmm. Why don't you stop all that? Just be a woman. This is the kind of woman I am. Take it or leave it. Well, I'll leave it. Are you sure you want to go to Texas with us? I've told you twice already, Mama, yes. I hate California. What'd he do? I mean, what was his crime? He wanted to get married. Mom, mean babe, she has gone crazy. There's no doubt about it. Mildred, George Zaharis is the sweetest, kindest man I have ever met in my life, and he's handsome, too. And he earns a very good living, too. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to change who I am for any man. George doesn't want you to change, don't oh, hey? He does, too. He wants me to be a married woman. Oh, crazy as a loon. You are acting crazy as a loon because you're scared to death of growing up. Lily, I don't want to talk about you here. You really think I'm crazy? Do you really love George? And why are you throwing him away? Because I'm scared to death. Where are we? A few miles from Phoenix. Mom, would you mind if you and Lily took the train from here? I guess I better get back to L.A. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. I'm not changing or quitting golf or anything like that. I didn't say you had to. When do we get married? Uh, next month, after the Dallas Open? This week or never. You got a deal. Bye! Goodbye, we'll Goodbye, see you. Mama. Don't steal any of my clothes, Chris. Goodbye! Okay. <laughs> We'll see you, kid. Tell me, I'm dreaming. Is this boat really going to Australia? Well, if it's not, we're on someone else's honeymoon, honey. <laughs> oh. And it's first class all the way. Oh, you spoil me, you know that? Well, you'd better get used to it. That's all I can say. <laughs> So, sir, yes. <laughs> you were so glad up there. We thought we were in a public library. <laughs> hey, anybody got a harmonica? Uh, my name is uh, George Saharius, and that's uh, that's my wife, Babe. I wonder if you can do me a favor, sir. 
Uh, can you get our uh, ticket switch from first class to third class? I'd really appreciate that, sir. It'd be very nice. As you wish. You boys know this? wrestling matches. Mm -hmm. This is some honeymoon, Tahirius. You love every minute of it. Enough, George. Let's go home. You got it, kid. Hello? Hi. Mm hmm You know, we could afford a painter. Nah. I'm gonna be done in a day. Well, you know, us in our first house, and... They're lovely. You put them over there? Okay. The <clears throat> next thing I'm gonna do is take off this old carpet and varnish the floor. I'm gonna get your contractor's license for your next birthday. Just get me a tournament to play instead. How do you know when you turn pro there'd be uh, fewer tournaments? That's not fair. I mean, how come... How come men can earn a living playing golf and women can't? Well, I don't think it's fair either, but I'll tell you what I'd do if I was you. What? Well, there's more tournaments for women if you are an amateur. I think about going back to being an amateur. It's an expensive hobby. <laughs> I'd rather support a golfer than a, than a handyman. It'd take me quite a long time to get recertified. Yeah, three years. What am I going to do for three years? I can think of a few things. Yeah, I'll bet you can. Mm-hmm. You think we should have a baby now? Serious? Yeah, I think it's time. All right. Terrific. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh. That's terrific. Okay, now you know that men's tailoring shop that we saw? Uh-huh. Okay, we're gonna buy it. What? I'm working, I'm retiring from the ring, that's why. Oh no, George. I'm not kidding you, honey. I got deals cooking all over town. I mean that kid's gonna have a Successful businessman for a father. All right. All right. I get back to painting. Yes, sir. Hi. Hi. How'd your meeting go? Ah, uh, you know I don't like to do business on Sunday, but neither does the doctor. He called. Mm -hmm. And he's. He checked all the tests. And he doesn't know I'm not pregnant. There's nothing wrong with you, and there's nothing wrong with me. Well, maybe we just better take more time, that's all. Time? Yeah. How much more time? I don't know. Maybe we're worried about it too much. Why don't we just try and relax, OK? I have been trying to relax, and it just doesn't work. Nothing grows in the garden. I can't have a baby. I can't play golf. Well, I, I just feel like I'm in a cage. Nothing works. We'll have to do something about it. How do you feel about bowling? Mm. Well, we just bought a bowling alley. We alley. interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. President Roosevelt has just announced that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. The attack was also on all naval and military activities on the principal island of Oahu. While U.S. Army troops train in Louisiana in preparation for European and Pacific landings, stars of motion pictures, radio, and the world of sports are traveling throughout the nation selling more bars. 
Babe Didrikson Saharius, our greatest female athlete, does her part in the drive. In a series of sports exhibitions, the Babe has already sold over half a million in war bonds herself. Babe, wait, wait, hold it, Babe. Oh, wait, I can put the ball doing, down. George? I have some news for you. The U.S. Golf Association just reinstated you as an amateur. I can get back into tournaments again. Southern California amateur coming up, Babe. <laughs> Sure, it'll be good to lady that ever was. Well, you're a pretty good caddy, Jimmy. What a team. We're going to knock them dead in Salt Lake City. Uh -uh, Jimmy. Tournament's over and so's the summer. you got to go back to school. Babe, I want to go with you to Salt Lake City. Sorry, Babe. darling, but you got a lot of books to crack if you want to get into pre-med. What is it, George? Lily called. It's your mother. Mrs. Harris, from Fenneman, L.A. Times. Uh, I'd like to offer my condolences. I, I know how close you were to your mother. You know, most people never knew her name. It's Hannah Marie Olson. And, uh, she's a champion ice skater and skier in Norway. I don't think she figured her life would go quite the way it did. She. Raised seven kids during the Depression and never complained. She uh, took in washing when Papa was out of work. She made each of us feel special and, and beautiful. She uh, was lonely after Papa died, but she still liked us to get around with her. She had a real pretty laugh. That's about all she ever did have. I gave her a first refrigerator. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Harris, I, I need a statement. The Associated Press has just voted you Woman Athlete of the Year. I think Hannah and Marie Olson have been very proud. With her victory today in the Texas Women's Open, Babe Didrikson Zaharias made it four tournaments in a row. The amazing Babe is burning up ladies' golf circuit. Next up, the Broadmoor Invitational Match Play and a chance for five in a row. I miss you. I hate being on the road. Without you, George, I get lonely. Honey, the more tournaments you win, the more clout you're going to have. The closer we come to finding a ladies' professional golf association. Now, that means big money. I know it. All right. I mean, isn't that what we've always talked about? Uh -huh. Just think, an LPGA. So, just ride that streak a little longer. I mean, you practically have the end of the rainbow in your hands, honey. I'm married to the <clears throat> world's greatest con man. <laughs> you sure you don't have a girl stashed away somewhere? Are you kidding? The Bay played flawless, aggressive golf today as she took the Palm Beach amateur title to run her winning streak to nine. Babe Didrikson Zaharias dropped a long curling putt to take the Augusta title holder's trophy. The win made it an incredible 12 tournaments in a row. Can the Babe keep it going? Next one coming up, the North and South Women's Amateur. 16 in a row, boy, I mean. You know, what we really need is a clincher, a real topper, and then we got it. Mm. I sure would like to remodel this kitchen. I saw some naughty pine cabinets in a magazine. What like naughty pine? Bobby Jones, I mean, boy, he really had the answer. He really knew how to milk a grand slam. Yellow trim. 
Yellow goes real good with green. Bobby Jones went to England, George, to play tournaments in England. That's right. Mm hmm I thought we agreed I was done traveling this year. I know we did, but I was just thinking. You know, there's never been an American woman that's ever won the British Women's Amateur Championship. Did you know that, babe? Think about it. You'd come with me, wouldn't you, George? No, you know, I'm gonna try to get over there. I got, you know, a lot of things. Like you there. tried to get to the women's title holders? I tried. Mm -hmm, but you didn't make it, did you? Come on. Don't come on, babe, me. It's all a big con. <laughs> You know what people are saying about you, George? They're saying you promote me. They're saying you use me. You know that... You know, that's really terrific. You know what it's like being married to you, Miss Dietrichson? I'm a Greek man. I'm supposed to be star of the show. But here I'm out busting my brains out so you can play amateur golf. Building my whole life around your career. Fighting day and night so people don't start calling me Mr. Dietrichson. Well, I got news for you, babe. People I know say you use me. What do you think of that? Y'all done being mad? Yeah, unless you want to fight some more. No, I think I'd rather kiss and make up. Has it been that hard on you, George? Hmm? Yeah, well, my mother told me. Don't marry Norwegian. Mm. Mm. You will try and get over there, won't you? I'll try to get over. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll get over there, yeah. Crowd is now awaiting the arrival of Mrs. Zaharias. Hi. Did I see sheep over there, Miss Gordon? Indeed you did. They graze on the course. That's a relief. For a minute, I thought they were late entries. <laughs> And so we're down now to the finals of the British Women's Amateur. The Yanks, Mrs. Zaharias versus England's Jack William Gordon on the course here in Gulane. One of the most challenging in Scotland. Mrs. Zaharias is known for her power off the tee. Mrs. Zaharias is in a bit of a bind. She has about 140 yards to the green, and she's got to keep the ball low to get under the arch of a tree. Looks like she'll be punching a four. She does play well, but she's certainly no beauty. Has a rather large behind, actually. The behind is where the swing comes from, honey. Good shot. Now, they 
They tell me no American woman's ever won this tournament. Of course, that don't bother me none, because I'm from Texas. <laughs> This is not unusual here in Scotland. The weather has suddenly changed. And Mrs. Zaharias seems to be feeling the chill. Now, there's a nice gesture on the part of one of the spectators. Good sportsmanship. To be expected at the British Women's Amateur. Good show. Jackie Gordon has to get down in two to stay alive here. Ah, there's a fine chip. And she might be able to hold the par. Now it's all up to Mrs. Harrius. She has a 30-foot putt. If she could sink this, it would make her the first American woman ever to take the British Amateur Cup back to the States. She's made it. And the British Women's Amateur Cup goes to the United States. <laughs> George! <laughs> oh, you look oh. terrific, honey. Terrific. Oh. Uh -huh. George, I brought you Glengarry. Oh, no Here, take oh. that out. Oh, I don't There you are. Ridiculous look. Like Do the dance. The dance? Oh, babe. Didn't make it over, did you, George? <laughs> I tried, babe, you know what I mean? I couldn't do it. Unless you'd like to see the businesses go down the drain. Oh, give me that stuff. Now can we go home? No, no, we turn pro. Uh, we got a meeting with Mr. Isley from Wilson Sporting Goods at the hotel. Hold up the cup, babe. Uh, you still mad at me? You still mad? Uh, I won all my cups for George, and I'd just like to take this opportunity to present it to him. For you, honey, with love. <laughs> Hold it up. That's right, Mr. Isley. I don't know, Mr. Zaharias. Signing Babe to promote sporting goods? That's different. But putting money into a promotion for a group of women no one's ever heard of? Doesn't sound like good business to me. Besides Babe and Patty Berg, who is there? Betty Hicks, Louise Suggs, Helen Detweiler? A handful. Well, that's the whole point, Mr. Isley. See, no one encourages women to compete for money like the men do. As a matter of fact, no one encourages women to compete at all. Uh, if you're born with a talent for athletics and you are female, well, you either apologize for that talent and just drag it out at family picnics, or if you're serious about it, you, you have to sneak around to the back doors to practice while the men walk in the front. In school, you get the courts and the fields only when the boys are done using them. It's like being second class all the way down the line. And if in spite of that, you make a name for yourself as a female athlete, then half the world calls you a freak. Well, I think it's just about time for all that to change. <clears throat> in case you're wondering uh, why my husband is wiggling his tie at me when we have this sort of signal, he lets me know it when I'm coming on too strong. <laughs> I see. Uh, Mr. Isley, your company makes a lot of sporting goods, and I'm here to tell you there's a great big market out there you haven't begun to tap. Which one of you is the promoter? I taught her everything she knows. And you really think that the average woman cares about this, huh? I promise you we do. I certainly hope you're right. All right, everybody, let's have a drink to the Ladies Professional Golf Association. Yes. 
Ladies Professional Golf Association. We heard yellow roses were your favorite. Well, they are. Thank you. I'll be watching for you. I'll put papers and TV. Good luck, Dave. Good luck. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for everything. You're leaving? Uh-huh. We're expecting you to win the Tam O'Shanter. You here? You betcha. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Good luck. All right, you right now. Florida right away. No, I'm just going to go. Hey, here she is. Welcome back. Welcome back. How you feeling, babe? Good as a fiddle. How long has it been since the operation? Three months. Oh, I said I'd be here. Here I am. How, are you? How, are you? How, are you? How do you think you'll do today? Best she can under the circumstances. <laughs> Hi there. Thank good you. luck to you. I hope you have a good game. Hi, Hi Betty. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, pretty good. Oh, let's get started. I'm ready. Okay? Fine. There's no law says you have to finish, you know. Yes, there is. Uh-huh. Where's it written? On the inside of my head. Hold it, Betty. George. In 15 crying. years I've been married to that lady. This is only the second time I've ever seen her cry. She needs this. No one enters the tournament three months after a major operation. This is insanity. Drop out now. I don't pick up the bow. Mrs. Zaharias, sir. 
Doc, how did you feel about your game today? I finished 15th. I'm not too thrilled. Are you going to continue trying to make a comeback? Comeback? I've only been gone three months. I'm staying right on the circuit. And when the Women's National Open comes around, you look for me, because I'm going to win it. Good ideas. I'm tired. My new girdle hurts. This it? Mm-hmm. This is a fancy restaurant I had to get dressed up for? That's right. That's it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm gonna kill you, George. I'm gonna be tonight. You're safer done. Two super burgers, uh, two chilies, and uh, two buttermilks. Back to where we come from, huh? Well, you know, I'm just trying to remind you so you don't get too uppity on me, you know? Or too upset if I didn't win a big tournament? Romance. Just six years ago, you won 17 straight tournaments. There'll never be another golfer, man or woman, that'll ever equal that. Isn't that enough? Not now. Why? What are you trying to prove? That I can win something bigger in a golf tournament. You want to dance? Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not the only one that's going to kill you. Wait till my doctor hears what you fed me for uh, dinner. Chili and beans. Doctors. What do they know about it? <sighs> Funny how the big things in life always get you by surprise. <laughs> do you ever think how different our lives might have been if we'd had children? No, not anymore. You still think about it? Yeah, sometimes. You remember old Colonel McCombs back in Dallas? Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, he always get this book on his desk. The essays of Ralph Waldo Emerson, and one of them was called The Law of Compensation, which was that if life short changes in one department, it's liable to give you a full hand somewhere else. I guess it all evens out. I never would have won those 17 straight if I'd been home changing diapers. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the 1954 National Women's Open, coming to you from the Salem Country Club in Peabody, Massachusetts. And leading on this very difficult course, the remarkable Babe Didrikson Zaharias, who underwent a radical cancer operation just months ago. Point of interest here, Babe and her husband George have recently completed a new home in Florida. Babe is an avid gardener and she's delighted with her new backyard, the Tampa Golf and Country Club. Another point of interest in the seven years since Babe and George Zaharias, along with Patty Berg, founded the Ladies Professional Golf Association, women's purses in professional golf have gone from a top of $15,000 to over $200,000.
A Fine Drive by Mrs. Zaharias. Betty Hicks is addressing the ball. Great shot. Perfect position for her approach to the green. And here's the babe. The babe's ball is half buried in the rough. It's a very difficult lie. Beautiful shot. She has stopped that ball about five or six feet from the cup. You're pushing it, kid. You're starting to push a little. I'm all right, George. I know, and I'm just, just reminding you, that's all. used to be one of the Babe's few weaknesses, but she took some coaching from Jean Sarazen. Babe now laughs and says she and Sand have become great friends. And there's the proof of it. Yes, sir. Betty ah! <laughs> Hicks has a tough 20-footer for a birdie here. And she sinks it. <laughs> Babe is under some pressure now. She needs this short putt to save her par. Just for the record, gang, I feel fine. I'm not tired. I'm just sometimes very dumb. I know, I know, I'm pushing. She has about a 35-footer. If the babe can make this, she's got the National Women's Open. And what a triumph that would be for her right now. in at 291. Now, that's not bad for the National Women's Open, is it, fellas? That's not bad at all, really. Well, you change that to sensational, kid. Okay, okay. We'll Stand by. Oh, honey, hold that for me, will you? Hey, congratulations, babe. What's next? Well, uh, I really wanted this one. But now I'm going to take a little time off to pay back a debt. I'm going up to Seattle to open the Babe Dietrich and Zaharias chapter of the American Cancer Society. See, uh, I did a little old-fashioned Texas horse trading back there in the hospital. I said to my maker, I said, God, you let me get better and go home to George, and I will spend the better part of the rest of my life raising money for cancer research. I had to win the tournament today. And I, I wanted to show other colostomy victims that, uh, their life doesn't have to change after the operation. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, babe. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good luck to you. 
Hey, Dave, 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 Dave. We'll see you all. Will you tell us about the shot of the 12 hole where you're coming out of the trap? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Babe Dietrich and Zaharias. Each year, cancer claims the lives of 300,000 citizens of the United States. I'd like to tell you about the American Cancer Society and how your contributions to research may save your life, that of a loved one, or maybe a small child. Babe? Hey, babe? Mm -hmm. How's that? Is that even? Perfect. We can put those slip covers on the chair in the bedroom later. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, look at Babe. Uh, you planted your vegetable garden. You put up your naughty pine cabinets. You decorated this house. You made slip covers, drapes, and uh, enough Hawaiian shirts to last me for a lifetime. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You laid a brick patio. You help put up a fence, and uh, one of these days I'm going to come home and you're going to be painting the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you been that hard on you, George? Well, let's face it, babe. I mean, I think you're getting a little restless. Oh, I'm getting restless? Mm hmm You're getting tired of me. I didn't say that. Well, uh, you think it's time I went and played some golf? Oh, what a great idea. Come on. You get changed and, uh, come on, you get changed and I'll go get the car. What'd it say on the radio? It's supposed to be a nice day today. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Hey, babe. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me. Yep, I brought him along the caddy for you. Oh, what a nice surprise. Goodbye, honey. Bye, babe. See you for lunch. OK. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Surprise. Well, you're looking good. So are you. They cut your hair. Sure. So, you're going to be a baby doctor. Yeah, well, it's the age of specialization, and uh, it's as good as any. Oh, it's a good one. Got to like kids, though. Yeah, I do. Is your back hurting you? <clears throat> Uh, I've been uh, working around the house. I think I wrenched it. <gasps> George! Well, I think we can relieve that pressure. It'll feel much better. Okay. Hi. Oh, George. It's a ruptured disc. I don't know how long she's been walking around with it. Doesn't this woman give any sign when she's in pain? Not too much. They breed is tough in Texas, huh, Doc? Yes, ma'am. Now you rest. X-ray, the, the cancer is spread, George. I better go get her clubs. She likes to have them around where she can see them. You folks want me to say something. But you see, it's kind of hard. <clears throat> I'm a Greek man, you know, and we get pretty emotional sometimes. The thing is, Babe isn't as tough as she seems. 
I know you guys never knew that Babe ever was afraid or scared. Well, she was. When I put my arms around her, she'd settle down. She'd look at me with such trust in her eyes. I felt if I could put my arms around her, it'd make her strong, and it did. The thing is, I always told her everything would be all right. And she believed me. Just now there, she's trying to convince me. Tears me up to see her lying there, worried about me. This one, too. I'll tell you something I never told you before. I saw you in the Olympics. I fell in love with you six years before we met. I was wanting to meet you. I always knew I would. You're the only girl I ever had, babe. You're the only girl I ever will have. Still a winner, aren't I? You always will be, babe. You always will be. Babe Diedrichsen Zaharias was the most honored female athlete in American history. She died in Galveston, Texas in 1956. She was 42 years old.